I could never imagine having the life that I have now if it wasn't for you. I, I didn't do anything. Are you kidding me? Come on, if it wasn't for you, I never would have met Patrick. Well, you're the one who convinced him to do the surgery to save my life. I did. And he was such a jerk in the beginning. The only reason I put up with him was because of you. And now we're together and we're having a baby. It's good to see you happy. You okay? No, I'm fine. I think she's kicking. You want to feel it? Oh, that was a strong one. <laughs> she's a miracle. <laughs> she's kicking really hard. Imagine what it feels like for me. Does it hurt when she kicks? No. It's just so wonderful, this whole thing. And kind of strange. There's a little person growing inside of there. Ah! That little girl has very strong opinions. You're gonna be such a great mom. Thank you. It's crazy. I, I never thought in a million years that I would be a mom because of being HIV positive. It would be completely irresponsible to bring a child into this world with a chance that they could have it or that I could leave them an orphan. I put the idea completely out of my mind. I'm glad you have that chance now. Do you ever think about when we lived in the cottage? Uh, not for a long time. I think that's when I realized that I could have a family because it was you and me and Michael. And even though it was very unrealistic looking back, I think I think both of us knew that. But I wouldn't trade that time for anything. If I told the truth about Michael from the start, he wouldn't be where he is right now. We all loved Michael. We all made the best choices that we could at the time. And I used to believe that, I just don't anymore. You can't do that to yourself. You can't look at the past and think about the things that you want to change. You have to just keep going. I mean, you're the one that taught me to do that. I was so afraid to hope or love anybody else after Stone, and you are the one that made me believe in the future. And now my future includes a child. Hey. Hey, what are you guys doing here? You're wow, supposed to be at Aunt Bobby's house. Yeah, I dropped by for oh, the cookout, baby. and then Karen and Oh, Morgan got into a mud fight today, didn't you? Uh, oh. So I had to drop by and get them some more clothes. Yeah, believe me, I know how that goes. <laughs> anyway, we decided to drop by. They want to say goodnight. Oh. Bobby's going to pick them up downstairs in a few seconds since they're going to go out for some ice cream. <gasps> Yay! Ice cream? You better thank Aunt Bobby for letting you spend the night, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it helps get your mind off things. <laughs> Thank you to Aunt Bobby, okay, for letting you stay over. Okay. You okay. cannot tie up Aunt Bobby when playing Cowboys and Indians. Okay. Oh, I've got many ideas. Here, take him. <laughs> bye, boys. Love Come you. On, let's go. You want to push some buttons? Oh, say bye, Bobby. Here we go. Bye, Whoops. How's Spinelli? He's better. Dr. Hunter's keeping him overnight just to make sure. Jason's really concerned about him. I know. I saw you letting him feel the baby kick. That was nice of you. I owe Jason so much. And he's the one that gave me courage to go on when I didn't have any. I wish I could give him just a little piece of what he's given me. the deal. I told myself that if you were here, I was meant to find you. I saw the look on your face when you felt Robin's baby kick. I'm happy for her. And then you saw Jake. Yeah, he looks good. He has a really great life because of the sacrifices you've made. But that doesn't mean you miss him any less. I can't undo all of the choices we've made, but I want you to know that I love you. And that I'm here. Sure.
shouldn't be here. I don't want to leave you like this. It's okay, I'm all right. Don't, don't do this, not with me. I know how much you're carrying by yourself. I can feel how isolated and alone you are. You need someone to talk to. I just want to do something for you. I want to listen. Please just talk to me. I never thought Sonny would turn against me. Michael got shot. Sonny wanted to walk away from the business. And I didn't, I didn't think it could work. To no longer have guards, to think that he could just be legit and, and people would accept it and forget everything he'd done. You told him that? Yeah, I told him that. Sonny believed it would work, that people would buy it because I'd been his right hand all this time, that he could just slip off into the background and keep his family safe. He asked me as a friend to take over. You mean to make yourself the target? And you said yes. No, I refused. What? But, uh, Sonny's retired and you're in charge of that, so I don't get what happened. <sighs> what happened was Carly wanted uh, Sonny to give up custody of Michael and Morgan. To get them out of his life, to keep them safe. Like you did with Jake. Yeah. So anyone buy it? Wouldn't listen to Carla. She couldn't say anything to get through to him. She was going to take off with Morgan. She was going to change their identities. And I know Carly, she would have gone through with it. So I offered Sonny a deal. I said, I'll take over the business just like you asked if you give up custody. And he did. He agreed. He wanted out that bad. But he misses his children. Yeah, he regrets giving up custody. Sonny blames you for taking them away. He just wanted to prevent Morgan from ever getting caught in the line of fire the way his brother was. And Sonny can't see it or he won't see it. He is convinced that Carly and I were out to punish him for what happened to Michael. Well, I can see why he would think that about Carly, but why you? No, no, he says I'm forcing him to give up his kids because it's what I did. Like, I need him to sign away Michael and Morgan to make giving up Jake okay? That was my idea. No, it, we, we both agreed. And, and we were right. Because after what happened to Michael, it's just not safe for Jake to be near you. And I know. Sonny doesn't see it that way. He, he thinks Carly and I forced him. Carly made the right decision. And you only helped her do what was best for Morgan. I'm sorry Sonny can't see that. And that he's chosen to blame you. The night Michael got shot, it's really hit home. That's a hard reality. Michael's in a coma. It's just something I've had to accept. You say that now, but earlier at the hospital, I saw in your eyes how much you just wanted to be with Jake. I miss him. You know, I miss you guys both so much. These are the choices I've made. That's the way it is. Sonny went the other way. I, business took too many people he cared about, so his answer was just to quit, get out, walk away. I mean, he was retired for less than two months when he was contacted by another organization. They offered him a deal, and he started working with them. That doesn't make sense. Well, it does. If deep down, what Sonny really wants is revenge. In the end, this, this isn't even about business. It's all about Michael. About the guilt Sonny carries. I, like I've tried every way I know how to make Sonny understand. I don't, I don't blame him for Michael any more than I blame myself. Everybody handles grief differently. Some need a target, and for whatever reason, Sonny has chosen to blame you to find a reason to resent well, I you. I keep telling him to take the business back if Jason, he wants it. I don't want it. You're looking for logic when there is none. Sonny's grieving. OK, well, I mean, what do, you th what do you think I should do? I think you need to make things right with Sonny. So you know you did all you could. <laughs>